This is it. He's our last chance. I'm sorry, Druid. When all is said and done, he's not the worst what? of them. Come on, don't tell me you're considering... It's a bit of a long shot, but with proper training. Oh, please! We can't lug this guy and his buns back to the village. Lads, please don't make waves. Don't forget we're guests. I like this guy. Now, if we can find another one who does the same trick with cheese... Hear me, old traveler. Hear my words are wandering souls. Hear me and my message, old traveler, or not. Whether you be a traveler or rather some other person journey. What are you rambling on about? Stick to the plot. We need them to believe but I'm just you. I'm a senator. Improvising prophecies on a hill isn't in my job description. Who cares about your job description? Make it stick or you ruin everything! Hark and listen, exalted voyager. Hark in the words of a young prophet who is but a victim of his own success. <laughs> oh, he got ease up on those birds, guys, really. And what say the gods? What? Could it be true? A brood of cake gobblers presides over fountains? Oops, beg pardon, not hearing too well. I've got a spot of Otitis and Turner in my other ear. Come again? A druid of great valor resides in these mountains? Gods, what does this all mean? A young druid of unparalleled talents? <sighs> Yonder, by those peaks? I have heard enough, oh gods, leave me to my magical disappearance. Well, then, who is this nutcase? Is he from around here? He did say... It seems to me he did mention a young druid, did he? Get a fix. Don't tell me you're taking that lunatic seriously. We're out of crib notes. It's over. We did what we could, but we didn't find a druid. Crib notes, scrib notes. You just said there's a druid right up in those peaks. That'd be Colorix. Excuse me? That old kook probably meant Colorix. Young druid lives on the peaks. And, uh, how's his reputation? It's okay. He's reasonably professional. Bear in mind, though, this parlor trick with the bread buns, he can't pull it off. This baby's mine. He's got a fix. It's true. You've got to face the facts. We can't replace you. There you have it. Can we go home now? We shall return home when I've seen the last of the druids. Oh, I can't believe this! We've been trudging all over Gaul with our stupid little crib notes for weeks. Not one of these guys is good enough. Asterix, don't get upset. I am not upset. Set. Just like you, I can stumble and fall. Oop, ow! See that? I almost fell down. That's it. I'm done. I need a replacement there. Meet my successor, the new first warrior of our village. Mm -hmm. What was that? Here's your dagger. And your helmet, too. But buy two pages. And your potion. You have a good time now. I'll be doing something else, because I'm good and fed up with the indomitables who can't see beyond their own mustaches. Obelix, are you coming? No, Mr. Asterix, I am very much not coming. I am not following a little man who chooses an old fogey to replace him over his so-called bestest buddy. Fare you well, Mr. Asterix. Asterix, Asterix, don't be foolish, come on. Please get a fix, do something. Asterix is free to go. My quest is not over. And if you choose not to follow me, I will understand. And I will climb up the mountain without you. <laughs>